Welcome to Niagara on the Lake, Ontario, Canada, often referred to as the prettiest town in Canada. This video will provide 10 reasons why people love Niagara on the Lake. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just a back in 69. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Niagara on the Lake, Ontario, Canada. Population of about 17,000. Now just for context, we have a map here. We have circled Niagara on the lake. It is roughly 30 minutes from Niagara Falls, an hour from Hamilton, and an hour and 45 minutes from Toronto. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love Niagara on the lake. People love Niagara on the lake because of the wineries. Beyond the quaint downtown and renowned Shaw Festival, perhaps Niagara on the Lake's biggest claim to fame is Ontario wine country. The area boasts close to 40 wineries, most with award-winning vintages, international accolades, and distinct Niagara taste. And of course, a mention should be made of world-famous Niagara ice wine. Whether you set out on a guided tour, hop on two wheels, and bike from each winery, or dine at one of the many delectable winery restaurants, Ontario Wine Country has something for every grape lover. People love Niagara on the Lake because of the Shaw Festival. Niagara on the Lake is home to world-class theater known as the Shaw Festival. Each season, more than 10 productions are performed for over 250,000 people across three theaters in the center of town. Festival Theatre, Royal George Theatre, and Jackie Maxwell Theatre. Inspired by the wit and passion of Bernard Shaw, the Shaw Festival is a contemporary theatre that features a diverse mix of plays from the past and present brought to the stage each year by a talented acting company, staff, and collection of resident and guest directors considered some of the best in the English-speaking world. People love Niagara on the Lake because of the Heritage District. Nestled in the corner of the Niagara region just beyond Niagara Falls, the picturesque Niagara on the Lake epitomizes Old Town Charm. Known by the locals as NOTL, this must-visit village is bordered on both sides by water with arbor frame streets among lush boulevard gardens. Wander through the Heritage District as you discover whimsical boutiques, enthralling antique shops, and delightful bistros. Maybe even a horse-drawn carriage. People love Niagara on the Lake because of the Whirlpool Jet Boat Tour. Take a 45 minute ride on the Niagara River and experience the natural, awe-inspiring scenery of the Niagara Gorge. Learn about the river's historical significance and feel the thrill of the Devil's Hole Class 5 white water and the magnitude of the whirlpool. People love Niagara on the Lake because of the Fort George National Historic Site. Fort George was a military fortification in Niagara on the Lake, Ontario. The fort was used by the British Army, the Canadian Militia, and the United States Armed Forces for a brief period. The fort was mostly destroyed during the War of 1812. The site of the fort has been a National Historic Site of Canada since 1921 and features a reconstruction of Fort George. People love Niagara on the Lake because of the Queen's Royal Park. Located off Ricardo Street along the banks of the Niagara River where the Niagara River empties into Lake Ontario. The park commands fantastic views of the historic Fort Niagara in Youngstown, New York to the east as well as Lake Ontario. A gazebo is the highlight of the park. This gazebo was erected for the movie The Dead Zone with Christopher Walken in the 1980s. After the movie finished filming, the gazebo was donated to the town. Queen's Royal Park was originally the site of the Queen's Royal Hotel. Built in 1868, the beautiful and elegant Queen's Royal was known as one of the best hotels in North America. It was the site of many social gatherings for wealthy tourists from Canada, the United States, and abroad. People also love Nag on the Lake because of the breweries and distilleries. For all the publicity the region gets of the wineries, you can't forget about the number of breweries and distilleries popping up all over the place. For breweries in the Niagara-on-the-Lake region, check out the Exchange Brewery right on the main street in the town or the unmissable Red Barn at Niagara Oast House Brewers for another popular brewery. People love Niagara-on-the-Lake because of the restaurants and the food tours. 
Niagara on the Lake Foodie Tour offers you a look at old world charm filled with modern cuisine. During the tour, you visit various local restaurants for tastings. You will meet the owners, the chefs, and other people with influence in the hospitality industry. But don't despair if you're on holiday with the kids. Taste of the Town Tour is a more family-friendly tour and is even stroller-friendly. This is a food and culture tour, giving you a great balance between culture and food tasting. You also get to see the local architecture as well as taste some carefully selected foods to tantalize your taste buds. Another reason people love Niagara on the Lake is the beautiful hotel, the Prince of Wales Hotel. Prince of Wales Hotel Niagara on the Lake is a historic Victorian hotel in Niagara on the Lake, Ontario. It's located at King Street and Picton Street along the historic Main Street of Niagara on the Lake in its historic district. Built in 1864, the three-story, 110-room hotel went by several names, Long's Hotel, Arcade Hotel, and the Niagara House, and was renamed with the current name in 1901 after royal guests the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall and York stayed there. Queen Elizabeth II stayed at the hotel during her visit to the area in 1973. People love Niagara on the Lake because of the proximity to the iconic, spectacular, natural wonder of the world, Niagara Falls. Now it's about 30 minutes down the highway. Niagara Falls is a group of three waterfalls at the southern end of Niagara Gorge, spanning the border between the province of Ontario and Canada and the state of New York in the United States. The largest of the three is Horseshoe Falls, also known as Canadian Falls, which straddles the international border of the two countries. Flowing north as part of the Niagara River, which drains Lake Erie into Lake Ontario, the combined falls have the highest flow rate of any waterfall in North America that has a vertical drop of more than 50 meters or 160 feet. During peak daylight tourist hours, more than 168,000 cubic feet of water goes over the crest of the falls every minute. Horseshoe Falls is the most powerful waterfall in North America as measured by flow rate. Now Niagara Falls has many attractions. It's got the Voyage to the Falls boat tour. It's got the Journey Behind the Falls tour, the Skylon Tower, the Casino. It's also got Clifton Hill with food options. It's also got the Zip Line and it's got Marine Land, just to name a few options. The reasons provided in this video are not all the reasons why people love Niagara on the Lake. If you've got a reason why you love Niagara on the Lake, pop it in the comments section. I'll make another video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Ciao for now.